That is bullshit blazing to my heart is blazing If the word kill me I don't need a new Devil, Devil May Cry, Cry. Strike. Hello, I'm the Hitchhiker. After four months of development, I'm pleased to announce that Devil May Cry Strive is now ready for its official release. DMC Strive is a set of gameplay changes for Dante that improve and extend his moveset, giving you access to new moves, a new style, and new gameplay systems. Both the name, logo, and certain gameplay features draw inspiration from Guilty Gear, a fighting game with gameplay just as stylish as Devil May Cry. It's been an exhilarating experience to work on, and I'm proud to finally share it with you all. Without any further ado, please take a look. The first introduction to Dante's gameplay is the return of the Dark Slayer style. Much like in DMC4, double pressing a direction on the D-pad will take you into this fifth style. The style change is marked by the shattered glass on the UI receding. In addition, if you have access to Dante's bloody palace taunt, you will use it as the style change animation. I've also added back the different colored style changes from DMC4, with Dark Slayer indicated by the color purple. Once in Dark Slayer, Dante will be able to use the DSD's summon swords as an independent weapon by pressing style, letting you use it with all of your guns and swords. Dark Slayer is very useful for controlling enemy position, and is one of the only attacks in Dante's moveset that does not lock him into an animation, alongside Dr. Faust's magic hat, making it a versatile tool. For example, you can use it to cancel enemy knockback at the end of a combo, similar to Nero's Bringer Claw. To compensate for their separation, I've also expanded upon the moveset of the Devil Sword Dante, giving it a new set of moves in Swordmaster, along with several other changes. To start with, Prop Shredder, Aerial Rave, and Round Trip have been added back to the DSD, and function similarly to Rebellion and Sparta. The DSD also gets a unique feature as a result. When performing Prop Shredder, Dante will launch a phantom projection of the Sparta, allowing you to continue combos with the DSD. Combo C has been changed as well. Instead of performing Prop Shredder, Hit 3 now performs Dante's Sword Spin, and Hit 4 performs a special variation of Overdrive. The first drive comes out when you press the button, and the second comes out on release. So by changing your timing, you can control how high the enemy is launched. I've also added two new moves. Performing Back Forward in the Air will activate Air Stinger, a move that launches the enemy horizontally from Dante. It drops your height on use, so keep that in mind when trying to jump cancel it. Performing Back Forward with Shuffle will activate Home Run, letting you use the last attack of Dance Macabre as a stylish combo ender. The recovery hasn't been altered, however, so don't get careless. If you aren't a fan of the Devil Sword Dante, worry not. Strive extends this new moveset to both Rebellion and Sparta, meaning you can use any sword you want without having your moveset restricted. The second feature of Strive is the Technical Action System. Typically, holding down DT will allow Dante to accumulate meter for the Sin Devil Trigger, but with this new system, it acts as a mode shift for Dante's weapons that give them unique features. As of right now, Dante has four technical actions implemented for the Swords, Cavalier, Balrog, and King Cerberus respectively. The technical action for the DSD, Rebellion, and Sparta is Quick Drive. By inputting Drive while holding the technical action button, Dante will instead perform Quick Drive, a variation of Drive with quicker startup, but without the ability to be charged. Being able to access this move independently from its combo will no doubt be a relief for series veterans. Cavalier's technical action is called Clutch. When holding the technical action button, Dante will swap to Cavalier R instead, allowing you to manually break a gear wheel combo while reducing the amount of loadout swaps required to keep both motorbikes equipped. Balrog's mode shift is called Hot Swap. When activated, you can passively swap between Balrog's blow and kick moves, making Balrog more responsive and easier to use. Finally, King Cerberus' technical action is called Ride the Lightning. When King Cerberus is equipped, holding the mode shift will let you immediately perform the lightning variation of Cerberus' moves without a charge time. This helps cut down on erroneous inputs while allowing you access to vital parts of Cerberus' moveset quicker. Its namesake is Kai Kisuke's Signature Overdrive. Combined together, these new technical actions will hopefully serve to expand the options available to Dante in gameplay and open up new possibilities. Tribe's third feature is one of my favorites, and completely changes the way one of his weapons functions. The Neo Balrog is an alternate moveset for Balrog that removes the need to stand switch while maintaining almost all of its moveset. Before I explain how it works, I'd like to explain why I made it. Balrog is an incredibly useful weapon in Dante's moveset, basically functioning as two separate weapons. However, the trade-off that comes from this is the restrictions placed on moves from requiring a specific stance. As an example, let's talk about Flintwheel. 
Split Wheel is an incredibly useful tool, acting as both an attack, parry, dodge, or simply a way to quickly reposition Dante. However, to use it as a dodge, you would first have to be in kick mode, meaning you can't be used to react to enemy attacks. Likewise, to enter Welter move requires shifting back into blow mode, meaning its ability to be used as a dodge is situational. This is what I think the main problem with Balrog is. The useful moves are not in a position where they're readily accessible, and the time it takes to gain access to them can be costly. With that in mind, the goal of the Neo Balrog is to make it so you can use all of Balrog's important moves when you need them, while not sacrificing any utility. I think you'll be pleased with the result. Attacking with the Neo Balrog will allow you to perform Balrog's kick combos, but holding an attack afterwards will take you into Welter Move. From there, you can jab, roll, and counter just like you would in Blow Mode. Releasing the button will then allow you to continue attacking using Balrog's kick combos. This lets you quickly swap between punch and kick moves without having to manually swap and waste time. In addition, the inputs for several moves have been changed. Attack plus forward will always perform updraft, while attack plus back will now allow you to perform flint wheel, which has been moved from Swordmaster into Dante's core moveset. Inputting back forward will perform heavy jolt. Once in the air, Dante's neutral air attack is friction, while inputting forward will trigger hammerfall, a new move that instantly knocks the enemy to the ground without taking you with them. Dante's moveset in Swordmaster has also been changed. Neutral Swordmaster will now perform Break Spiral, with Swordmaster Forward triggering Divine Dragon, and Swordmaster Backward triggering Real Impact. Middle Break can be performed by pressing Swordmaster while in Welter Move. In the air, Dante will perform Firestorm, with Cruiser Drive being moved to Swordmaster plus Forward. Finally, Pyromania has been moved to Swordmaster plus Back Forward, as its use is more circumstantial, and accidentally triggering it can be problematic. You may notice I haven't mentioned Keto. Given how little it offers in terms of offensive or utilitary capability and how input space is limited, I decided to cut the move. Don't worry about Ignition, however, as the 10 count ability now applies to all of Dante's attacks, making maintaining Ignition a simple task. This moveset is one of the biggest improvements Strive implements in Dante's moveset, so I hope you all will enjoy it. The final addition is Devil May Cry Strive's flagship feature, as well as the inspiration for the mod's name. It completely overhauls the implementation of Sin Devil Trigger, adding an entirely new system to Dante's gameplay. To start with, the Sin Devil Trigger gauge is no longer charged by holding Devil Trigger. Instead, the gauge, which I've renamed to the Tension Gauge, will begin to automatically fill once you reach S rank, and the gain is increased further upon reaching SS and SSS rank. This meter can then be used to activate Sin Devil Trigger as per usual, but it has a new use as well. By spending part of the gauge, Dante can enter Sin Devil Trigger for a split second and perform what is known as a Roman Cancel. When a Roman Cancel is performed, Dante will immediately cancel whatever move he is performing, and a DT explosion will trigger, similar to the explosion that occurs when transforming into Sin Devil Trigger. In addition, time will slow down for everything except Dante, allowing him to rapidly close distances and catch up with enemies. Depending on the circumstances when performing the move, you will get one of three kinds of Roman Cancel, red, yellow, or purple. Performing a Roman Cancel outside of specific scenarios will trigger a red Roman Cancel. These are the standard Roman Cancel and cost 50% of your meter. Performing a Roman Cancel during an enemy step will trigger a yellow Roman Cancel. This only costs 25% of your meter and the temporal slowdown will last longer. Canceling certain high commitment moves like Pyromania with a Roman Cancel will trigger a purple Roman Cancel. These cost 75% of your meter, and the slowdown is even briefer than a red Roman Cancel, so only use these if you absolutely have to. Finally, holding technical action while entering the command for Roman Cancel with 100% meter will transform Dante into Sin Devil Trigger form, which functions identical to normal gameplay. With these changes and additional options, I hope to encourage the use of the Tension Gauge, Roman Cancels, and Sin Devil Trigger as a key part of Dante's gameplay, as opposed to a last resort option to be conservatively stored away. Roman cancels can drastically change how Dante plays, so I hope you all enjoy experimenting with them. Given the number of changes Strive implements, I'm sure there are some parts of this mod pack that are unappealing. As such, I've made sure it can be customized to suit the user's preferences. Each section of Strive can be toggled on and off independently of each other, and further customization is available. Both technical actions and the Roman cancel button combo can be rebound to suit your control scheme an option for infinite sin meter is provided if you would prefer to ignore Roman cancel costs. Strive also gives you the option to customize the aerial functionality of each melee weapon. For example, the Devil Sword Dante can be adjusted to act like the Rebellion, or to have its aerial rave on sword while its helm splitter is on Swordmaster. These options may prove useful to players looking to further customize their controls. 
Finally, Hulk Mash is an option that replaces Dante's rapid tap combos like Million Stab, Break Spiral, and Divine Dragon with their hold inputs instead. Ebony and Ivory now rapid fire when held as well, making it easier to use their moveset. After all, you shouldn't have to wear out your hands to be stylish. With the addition of Stripe to the collaborative cheat table, several new options have been added. The ability to jump to a specific stage of Bloody Palace, or to trigger a boss rush, have been added to the UI, along with a new page that allows for further customization to animation cancelling and game speed. An option to adjust the breaker charge time has been added to Nero's page, along with the option to set the number of Royal Guard pips Dante has when practicing. Each pip adjusts the knockback and damage Royal release causes, so this should prove useful for experimentation. Also added is the option to change Dante's loadout during gameplay without having to quit back to the main menu. It can also let you set weapon combinations that would otherwise not be possible. Say for example, I was working on a combo that required me to use Rebellion, then Cerberus, then Rebellion, then Cavalier, then Rebellion, then Balrog, then back to Rebellion. You would have to cycle your weapons a lot to pull that off, but now I can simply set that as my loadout and not have to repeatedly press Chain Sword. Finally, the ability to use Redline with Cavalier has been added to Dante's options. I've put a lot of work into this mod over the past few months, and it wouldn't have been possible without a lot of other people. To begin with, I'd like to thank Kyo for providing the combos at the beginning of this video. If you like what you saw, please check out Imperium, a combo mod where he styles on demons throughout DMC 3, 4, and 5 for, oh, 20 minutes. I'd like to thank Cien, the creator of the collab table, for staying up in the wee hours of the morning answering all of my questions, and for letting me add my mod to the table to begin with. Check him out on Twitter. I'd like to thank NNeo for providing useful advice about the mechanics of this mod and giving me an insight into the aspects of the game I would otherwise be blind to. Thank you to Dr. Penguin for helping me test the mod and provide feedback. Thank you to everyone in the Infernal Works Discord who tolerated my presence, bug tested my stuff, and otherwise helped out. You know who you are. Special thanks to Mr. Shakedown for providing the voice work at the beginning of the video and generally being the hypest shit. And special thanks to Linaria2 for their absolutely incredible work on the DMC Strive logo and my channel art. Check them out, and maybe commission something from them. Finally, thank you to Pat and Wooly for introducing me to Devil May Cry, Guilty Gear, and providing the inspiration to start on this endeavor. To me, you guys will always be the best. <sighs> I'm going to take a longer break this time around. This mod has occupied a lot of my time, and as fun as it was, I'm eager to work on other projects. If you'd like to hear more about what I'm working on, feel free to subscribe. I'll be uploading a series of dev diaries I made that covered parts of Stripe's development fairly soon, so be on the lookout for that. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Here comes a daredevil! He who desires but act not breeds pestilence. So it is written.